All right, uh, the amazing Plasma 5 desktop, I think, is finally coming to form, and everything seems to uh, be very cohesive in the whole, I guess you could call it an ecosystem of the Plasma desktop, and wow, it's very cool. Uh, Congratulations to the developers. They've been working, I can tell from look at the Arch updates, day and night it must be to get this to work. And it's it's great. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I haven't had any crashes. Uh, no stop jobs. Uh, nothing. Um, and you can tweak it to whatever you want and if you're using Arch Linux, you have access to the Arch Linux user repository where you can download uh, themes, uh, widgets, and uh, so on uh, if you wish to. And I found one, obviously the weather. If you click on it, it's from open, openweathermap.org. It gives you a, when it was updated and you can reload. And it gives you a really cool graph here and it's just a summary of uh, that it's sunny and 77 degrees out. Uh, as far as the menu, I disabled history completely. I, I didn't see any purpose in that. It was kind of annoying to me. And uh, the menu editor, uh, it took me a while to figure this out, is if you right click and edit applications and menu, you go to uh, one of these here, edit, uh, configure menu editor and this one right here and yes I have a mouse wheel desktop zoom show hidden entries so you click that so say chromium maps I don't want to see those so now you have this selection hidden entry when it's when it's checked you don't see it in your uh, menu here and uh, certain other things some things you can't turn off um, such as that or that uh, but other ones you can uh, I, I chose to uh, hide all the QT stuff and so on and other uh, applications like uh, quality QT uh, uh, video for Linux 2 test I don't really use that and so on so I thought that's uh, I wish it was more obvious but at least I could do it as far as history, uh, you go to your system settings and uh, account details. Uh, no, you don't. It's under desktop behavior, activities, privacy. And you can remember for open documents for spec these specified files. Then you can blacklist applications, which is very cool. Uh, one, only one specific application. So I just check, do not remember, and then clear history for everything, okay? And it doesn't show up in under the history entry. I'm not sure how if you can remove that, but uh, that's fine. Another thing I really like is just, you know, type, start typing on your desktop uh, to find, to find uh, documents and folders and stuff and run programs and so on so start typing plasma it tells you what it is system settings application places so plasma 5 is a document so first of all what I did um, I gave up on the simple desktop display manager SDDM I was getting stop jobs you know every time you know um, a minute and a half 90 seconds every single time I uh, restarted the, the system. So I just replaced it with LightDM and those are completely gone. I already went through the Disable History, the Menu Editor, oh yeah, and Avatars. You know, see I have my uh, Arch Mid Avatar. And for some reason when it's just no Avatar, um, clicking on it does nothing. But after you add one it does. So that's under uh, System Settings user accounts there you go then you can load from a file and so on 
Uh, what else? Uh, K Super Key, get that through Pac Man, you know, to launch, you know, Super Key to launch. Um, I'd, I have a video on uh, X Bind Keys plus the desktop zoom with a mouse wheel. And you add the X Bind Keys to Auto Start. FF MPEG sums, so you can see uh, video previews. Uh, feedback sums, whether you like them or not, are back. Um, but they're not as uh, loud, I don't think. No. Uh, custom sh keyboard shortcuts are finally working. So, I may have this. Shortcuts, custom shortcuts. I have uh, a few home, which is uh, Dolphin, Alt H, Firefox. You can have a super key and uh, a number. And text uh, would be uh, leash pad. And you can just add, you know, edit new custom command dash url and just fill in the uh, fill in the blanks basically and i just mentioned you can get the widgets and scenes uh, from the arch linux user repository uh, dolphin is really cool i think i really like this you can customize it in so many ways i've hidden a lot of entries that i don't need this that i don't want to see and just added um, what do they call them? Bookmarks. I'm not sure what it's called. I invited the programs directory. Uh, user, USR share application so you can get a glance of what's basically installed and see KDE for uh, services and stuff. But I don't have a Kmail installed. And mentioned this uh, desk menu desktop slash menu search you can also search for uh, whatever your default web browser and whatever bookmarks you have so if I start searching my username SourceForge, GitHub, uh, YouTube so let's go to uh, my GitHub or GitHub and it brings it right up and you can do the same from uh, just start typing in the um, desktop and that will bring up a source source page so you, so you get the idea there pretty cool and as if you notice nothing has crashed nothing's everything is doing extremely well I can uh, open a whole bunch of uh, programs uh, very responsive and you know you have the, your overview settings and I, I added the show desktop entry and everything just goes flying off to the corner and just uh, bring everything back and uh, I really like the uh, other the K card too is you can add uh, whatever this is called gives you drag sensors on <laughs> drag sensors to empty cells on worksheets so what I have here sensors are uh, total usage I don't know if you can change that to megabytes or gigabytes but uh, CPU temperature it's up there because uh, I'm recording and it's fairly warm out uh, uh, the, the, the six cores I think uh, read and write on the uh, disk I, there's a whole bunch of uh, variables Fortunately, I couldn't find a uh, NVIDIA uh, sensor, but that's okay. And system load, now around 1.6, but it's uh, generally around 600, 700 to 800 megabytes, which is pretty good for, you know, considering plasma. And then you have your processor table here. And Dolphin needs uh, attention, um, not attention, uh, wrong wrong wording, uh, highlighting, I guess, or mention, because it's such a great uh, file manager, pretty much everything I would want from a file manager, such as split view, uh, opening up several tabs if you wish, and just control W to close them. Um, F4, if you have console installed, it will bring up a inline uh, console, of course. F4, 
toggles it back off. Um, videos, when I'm recording, uh, it's not going to, I'm not sure, but FFmpeg sums will show, uh, I guess, when it's finished, a preview. And if you go to pictures and I have wallpapers, you can have previews and you can uh, scale how big they are with the mouse wheel, control and mouse wheel. Very neat. And another thing is uh, through the services you can uh, actions uh, start a slideshow and that's what it does. <laughs> it starts a slideshow uh, in full screen and uh, you can edit uh, if you want it random or loop, uh, select uh, select image information, show thumbnails, and the interval. And just to get out of here, close. And even with that, if you right click on the desktop, uh, desktop settings, and you change from the type to slideshow, and you click apply, you can add uh, folders as well. So you can go next image, next image, just above the next image is open wallpaper image and it'll open in uh, Gwen view and then you can sort of like hit this uh, forward and back button. I'm not sure what the key keyboard shortcut would be with that. So you can go through and you can see there's a selected um, things that are not included basically. And share, there is no plugin found for share so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that would be. But I thought it was pretty cool. Go back to desktop settings and uh, just, oops, nope. Uh, go back to image. And by all accounts, all the uh, icons are now working. Uh, you can see simple stream recorder, NVIDIA dock. I open it up. Thermal settings. If you add that to your Zor command line, you can uh, use that. And uh, Redshift are installed the Yaoart uh, version on and off. And you can configure Redshift. Uh, and Advanced Locate, it'll locate your uh, location. Or you can, uh, uh, Geo Clue, you can enable uh, um, automatic modes, uh, different settings. I haven't really looked into that, sorry. I'm not too familiar with Redshift, but. It seems to work, be working uh, quite nicely. I disabled the uh, tips because uh, I open a window. I don't like to see the preview, it's too big. Maybe there's a way to configure that, and especially when you right click on this, it'd always pop up on, say, a KD launcher or something. And of course, there's our alternatives such as uh, just an application menu you switch. And get a simple uh, application menu, which uh, I don't think there's okay. Recent applications, you're not going to see those. Or recent documents give you clear the privacy settings. And of course, the other one is uh, the media dashboard. You just scroll through. Uh, different, uh, you know, it's like a gnome, gnomish or whatever, gnome shell. But uh, I find that just a regular one is fine because um, it's so easy just to open up Firefox or run Fire. You know, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I don't know where this came from, but you can rotate it with the keys and up and down. I have no idea where this came from, but uh, it's pretty cool. But yeah, uh, as I was saying, you can open applications and stuff, documents, uh, bookmarks, your web browser, and so on. If you install the Plasma, the whole Plasma uh, desktop, uh, not Plasma Dash desktop, but just Plasma or Plasma Meta, I just installed Plasma. Sorry about all the terms. Um, you get things like this, the info center about the system, of course it's Arch Linux, what version of Plasma, and QT, and the OS type, and the hard uh, memory, then there's uh, different categories, 
I believe. Shows you the, uh, I don't have a SOP file, so. Uh, application data, what's cached, and physical memory. Uh, ener energy information, uh, nothing. Uh, nothing much here, but it's showing you what's been being used. Um, as you can tell, simple screen recorder. Um, index. Um, it'll tell you if it's uh, complete or not, and uh, indexing the content, which it would be indexing the video I'm recording. That's so that's pretty cool. So you get the idea from here. And back to the wallpaper, uh, there's another thing too that I like is these are okay. The default wallpaper was which, which, which is really cool is this one, uh, but you can add a location so you open pictures and wallpapers. And again, you can uh, have the slider for the preview uh, to anything you want. So you know, you can pick an image that you might want to use in here. And find one that I haven't. I don't know, maybe this one. Click that, apply. There you go. So a lot of really uh, nice, nice features uh, that I, like I said, it's all starting to come together very well. One thing though is might be because of the privacy setting, but I'm not sure. Is I did have a uh, favorite for the terminal. So if I start typing uh, terminal console, add to favorites, back to favorites, it's there. Uh, but sometimes when I after a reboot, because I've been testing the, how it responds, how you know the boot time and logging in and so on, uh, sometimes these things will disappear. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe maybe when changing things, I I don't know yet. So. Uh, just be aware of that, but I really think this is pretty much as good as it's going to get um, as far as all the things that go on with a, with a plasma desk, desktop. There's a lot of things happening, uh, so I would recommend if you like plasma or KDE, uh, try install this on your system. Uh, this is on a, another uh, partition, sort of like a test partition for different uh, uh, desktop interfaces, so it doesn't interfere with my main um, XFCE4 desktop. But this is getting pretty close, or if not already there, to use it as a daily um, desktop interface, because I really enjoy this, because everything I look for such as uh, you know being able to use the mouse wheel and desktop zoom, uh, the things in the file manager, the search. You can search bookmarks and web files. You can search for uh, you know you start typing documents. It'll open your documents. I mean that's everything and it's all free, <laughs> open source, and it's running very well, really well. So I think I'll wrap it up. Uh, Plasma 5, I think, finally has come into form. And then on June, whatever it is, the date today is 4th, Saturday, June 4th, 2016. All right, so that should do it for this one. And thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.